Boasting a ton of eye-catching features, iOS 18 has set the eyeballs rolling. While the most talked about features have become the talk of the town, the lesser-known but pretty neat features haven't received much spotlight. Whether you have missed out on the new add-ons that are slightly concealed or have decided to dig into the software to unravel the hidden gems, this exhaustive roundup has got you fully covered. That said, let's get started. So first off, I would like to highlight the ability to bring up the power of slider in a quicker way. If you had to press the side button or find it a bit inconvenient to hold down the side button, especially when using a heavy duty case, this nifty new add-on is for you. In iOS 18, you can trigger the power off mode right from the control center. Simply swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to bring up the control center and then hit the tiny power button at the upper right corner of the screen to bring up the power of slider. Next up, I would like to highlight the multiple ways to switch between control center pages. There are a couple of ways through which you can switch between the control center pages on your iPhone in iOS 18. When you are in the control center, just swipe up to switch between the pages. Alternatively, you can also tap on the tiny icons like cellular, heart and music pressed on the right to cycle through your iPhone control center pages. Then I would like to highlight the big to perfectly customize the control center on your iPhone. Probably the best part about the redesigned control center is that it is fully customizable. Hence, you can design it to your liking so that your favorite controls are always at your fingertips. Just swipe down from the top right corner to access the control center. Then tap on the plus button at the top left corner of the screen. Now you can drag and drop the preferred controls at the right spot. And to remove a particular control, just hit the minus button. And to add a control, you have to tap on the plus button at the bottom and then select a particular control. You can also make the most of the search bar to quickly find a specific control that you would like to add to the control center. Notably, there is also a neat way to fine tune the size of a specific control. To do so, you have to use the pin gesture to increase or decrease the size of a specific control. Now, I would like to talk about the ability to change the app icon size. One of my favorite iOS 18 home screen customization features is the ability to change the app icon size. To do so, just long press on the home screen to enter the jiggle mode. Then tap on the edit button at the top left and choose customize option in the drop down menu. Now select the small or large app icon size option in the menu that pops up from the bottom of the screen and you're all set. Then I would like to highlight the ability to customize the color of app icons. If you have a liking for vibrant app icons, chances are you would love to change or customize the appearance of app icons color. To do so, you have to long press on the home screen and then select the edit button at the top left. And then choose customize option in the drop down menu. After that, select tinted in the menu that shows up from the bottom of the screen. Now use the color sliders to perfectly adjust the color of app icons and the home screen widgets. Then I would like to talk about the ability to place app icons anywhere on the screen. Times when you want to customize your home screen to your heart's liking, the more freedom you have, the better it is. In the latest iteration of iOS, you can design your home screen by placing app icons anywhere on the screen. Yeah, you got that right. You are no longer forced to put the apps in perfect alignment as there is no such conservative rule anymore. Now, I would like to highlight the ability to switch between dark, light, aromatic, and tinted theme on your iPhone home screen. Another pretty cool iPhone home screen customization feature that has graced iOS 18 is the option to switch between different themes such as aromatic, dark, light, and tinted depending on your viewing preference. To do so, you have to touch and hold on the home screen to get into the editing mode. And then you have to tap on the edit button at the top left and choose the customized option in the drop down menu. And then you have to choose the desired theme in the menu at the bottom of the screen and you are good to go. Next up, I would like to talk about the ability to lock your private apps with Face ID on your iPhone. No longer want anyone to bump into your private apps without your permission. Well, you can now easily lock all of your iPhone apps with Face ID so that the prying eyes will stay away from your private apps. To do so, you have to long press on the app icon that you would like to protect. And then you have to choose the required Face ID option and confirm the action.
And then I would like to take your attention to the ability to hide apps from the prying eyes on your iPhone. Certain apps like dating and expense trackers deserve an extra layer of safeguard from unauthorized access. Thankfully, iOS 18 has offered a pretty neat way to hide apps on your iPhone. To conceal an app, all you have to do is just long press on the app icon and then select Require Face ID in the menu and then choose Hide and Require Face ID. It's worth pointing out that whenever you hide any app on your iPhone, it is located in a separate folder in the app library called Hidden. Hence, you will need to go in that folder to find out all of your hidden apps and then authenticate to access them. Next up, I would like to talk about the ability to generate QR codes for saved Wi-Fi passwords on your iPhone. The Apple Passports app now lets you generate QR codes for saved Wi-Fi passwords. As a result, you can now share your passwords securely and more conveniently with others. Next up, I would like to talk about the ability to quickly access the full list of installed apps on your device. In iOS 18, Apple has added a dedicated section for apps that you can find in the settings app and then choose apps located at the bottom of the screen, thereby allowing you to easily search and manage apps with better control on your iOS device. Then, I would like to talk about the ability to get the forecast for separate home and work locations in the Apple Weather app. The Apple Weather app now shows forecasts for separate home and work locations. You can fine-tune the home and work levels by going to the settings app and then selecting apps and then you have to choose the weather app and after that you have to select location section and then fine-tune everything to your heart's liking. After that, I would like to talk about the ability to schedule messages in the Apple Messages app on your iPhone. Apple Messages app has finally received a long-awaited feature that lets you schedule messages. To schedule a message, all you have to do is go to the Apple Messages app on your iPhone and then open any conversation thread. And after that, you have to type in the message. Then you have to tap on the plus button and then you have to choose the more option. After that, select the send letter option in the pop-up menu. And then you have to fine-tune the date and time. And then you have to finally hit the send button to send the messages. And finally, I would like to talk about the ability to control your iPhone using just your eye. Yeah, you got that right. In iOS 18, you can control your iPhone or iPad using just your eyes. Though the eye tracking feature is primed for differently abled people, anyone can get the most out of this noted accessibility feature to control their device with their eyes for more convenience. To get going, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone and then select accessibility. After that, you have to activate the eye tracking feature and then fine tune it to your heart's liking and that's all there is to it. So these are the best iOS 18 hidden features for iPhone. Now that you have known my top picks, it's time to share your favorites and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye. -bye.